Hi, I'm Tracy Ellis Ross. Oh, I didn't know. I was <laughs> I'm sorry. Who are you? Okay, I'm Sarah, Sarah James. <laughs> this is Sarah James. Okay. <laughs> I had the honor of washing her hair. I actually didn't shampoo, I just conditioned. So I did all of the tricks that I do. She has a stunning head of hair. I rinsed it out and I filled it with a ton of medium conditioner. And I really got the conditioner all through there and used the shower brush. She did not need a lot of detangling because your hair actually with the medium conditioner just kind of detangled easily. But the clumping started to happen with the medium conditioner. So as I say and I repeat, what happens in the shower or what happens when there's water in your hair and with your conditioner, that's when the good curls start. That's when the clumping starts, that's when the curl activation starts, and from there you have so many choices. Every once in a while there's the end of a curl that is not as boingy and perfect as one of those. She has this gorgeous shape in her hair where some of them curl up more than others, but I think it creates a beautiful shelf. I did a lot of squishing of the curls to do this and kind of give them um, support in doing what we want them to do. And then I rinsed it out with low water pressure, really cold water. I filled it with leave-in conditioner and I squished that in and I never broke up the curls. I did not run my fingers through. Put a little bit of curl gel on the ends to really help that boing happen, help that bounce happen. And then I squeezed out the water. I did not twist, then I used the pattern towel to squeeze more. Again, no twisting, because you're gonna undo those curls. I then diffuse. I start on the high heat, and then I do the low airflow. And I do that until the curls really start to dry in the shape that they're in. I think it's really important to lean into what your hair naturally does. So I lean into the shape, the style, all of it that it naturally does. And then we're gonna get to the iron because that's the exciting part. They've never been so curly. Uh -huh. And this is the first time using pattern. Uh -huh. So here comes the beauty of the iron. You have some ends that are not as clean as the others. So before I start pulling through her hair, I'm gonna touch up some of these, which is the way I use the iron. This is the 3 8 inch iron. Our curling irons come with three different barrels. We have the 3 8 the 3 quarter, and the 1 inch. When you're trying to match your curl pattern, even if your coil is tighter than this or a little bigger than this, this is a really good one to use. I like to follow what the hair is already doing. So I'm not gonna create a new clump. I'm actually gonna go with the clump. We're gonna take this guy and I'm gonna go around the barrel, but I'm gonna follow the bends that already exist. So I just did the end of this guy to make it look like this guy, but there's still a little that's not bent in here, so I can follow it and just do a small piece and just start making it look like the other guys. Stack it a little more so it starts falling in just like the other ones. And on this, I'm actually gonna go outside the barrel. I'm not gonna go inside the clip. I'm gonna go on the outside, do some of it, and then go back in the other direction. Look how cute she is. Hi, Annie. <laughs> Do we want length or big? Big. Big? Okay, yeah. turn your head over. Yeah, I love big. Live. Oh. <laughs> Look at her hair. Once those curls are locked in, you can play in there. Yes, it's gonna get frizzier, but you're not gonna lose that external shape. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Everybody can get beautiful curls if you learn your hair, explore your hair, and meet your hair where it is, and start to find out what works best for you.